Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to meet you all again. As 2023 comes to a close and the New Year's bells are about to ring, we're thrilled to bring a special gift to all audiophiles, the highly anticipated ZA3. It's a new generation of mini balanced dual mode class D amplifier. This product is a significant upgrade, developed based on the feedback and needs of our users, building upon our previous flagship model, the V3. Today, I am excited to take you on an up-close and personal tour of this product, complete with demonstrations of its various applications. So, follow me as we step into the world of the ZA3. First, let's delve into the aesthetic allure of the ZA3. Continuing the V3's tradition of minimalist design, the ZA3 boasts a high-quality all-aluminum alloy body, meticulously crafted through CNC integrated molding. The surface, treated with sandblasting and anodic oxidation, followed by a fine polish, highlights its distinct elegance. The innovative heat dissipation design of the V3 is also inherited and further enhanced in the ZA3. Taking user feedback into account, we've relocated the cooling vents to the sides of the chassis, promoting better air circulation and more effective heat removal. Additionally, the vents are equipped with dust filters to prevent internal contamination. The ZA3's amplifier chip is located at the bottom, closely integrated with the chassis, transforming the entire case into a large heatsink. This, along with an enlarged chassis, ensures superior heat dissipation and stable operation under heavy loads. In terms of operational interaction, the ZA3 is equipped with an input mode switch lever, allowing easy toggling between RCA and XLR balanced inputs. On the right, there's a lever to switch between stereo and mono output modes, ensuring a quick transition to your desired setting. Regarding inputs and outputs, the ZA3 supports one set of RCA and one set of balanced inputs, along with a speaker output. The XLR ports also support one quarter TRS input. Responding to user feedback, we replaced the pre out port with a sub out on ZA3, facilitating the setup of a 2.1 channel system. We've also integrated a low pass filter into the sub out port with an output frequency range of 20 to 300 Hz. Additionally, the ZA3 features a trigger input port that can receive signals from other devices, such as a pre-amplifier, decoder, or AV processor, for synchronizing the automatic power on, off of the amplifier, enhancing the ease of use between devices. Lastly, the ZA3 supports a 24 to 48 volts power input, this time, we have directly equipped the ZA3 with a high power 48 volts, 5A power supply, confident that it will meet your daily usage needs. In the next segment, we will disassemble the ZA3 to explore its internal design in depth. After introducing the appearance and input output features of the ZA3, let's now take a look inside. Firstly, to achieve better sound quality, we have optimized the circuitry. The audio and digital modules are designed separately to minimize interference on the core audio module, ensuring purer sound quality. Additionally, the ZA3 continues to utilize numerous audiophile grade components. Foremost among these is the amplifier chip, the high-end TPA3255 from Texas Instruments, recognized for its high power, low noise floor, and low distortion by audiophiles. The op amps in ZA3 are also from Texas Instruments, the NE5532. This time, we equipped the ZA3 with five replaceable op amps, serving the balanced input, subwoofer output, and left-right channel output. 
This enhances its playability. You can swap these with other DIP-8 dual discrete op amps according to your preference. I will demonstrate the specific replacement method later. Apart from high quality amplifier and op amps, we continue to use audiophile grade capacitors in the ZA3. These include the Japanese NCC filter capacitor with a 63 volts voltage tolerance and 2200 microfarads capacity, German WIMA high frequency capacitors, and Japanese ILNA coupling capacitors, among others. The inductors used are professional audio surface mount inductors from Japanese Sumida. The power input circuit features a soft start resistor and an energy saving circuit design, achieving zero power consumption when turned off, for a true shutdown. The ZA3 also uses a logarithmic taper A potentiometer, which have become standard for all our new amplifiers, allowing for a more linear auditory experience when adjusting the volume. The amplifier chip is also located underneath the circuit board, effectively isolated from the capacitors to avoid the risk of damaging surrounding capacitors due to chip heating. The heatsink on the amp chip is tightly integrated with the chassis, conducting heat from the chip throughout the entire body, turning the whole case into a heatsink. This significantly improves heat dissipation. The combination of excellent circuit design, the addition of audiophile grade components, and outstanding heat management ensures that the ZA3 can operate stably under high loads. During regular music listening, it will not shut down due to overheating or overload, allowing you to immerse yourself in the world of music. We fully understand our audiophile's rigorous pursuit of the core specifications. Next, we will project the key parameters of the ZA3 on the screen to share with you. Starting with the power output, we conducted tests with the standard 48 volts 5 amps power supply. At a 4 ohms impedance load, the stereo mode can achieve a rated power output of 155 watts per channel, while the mono mode can even reach 235 watts output. We believe this high power capacity is more than capable of driving most speakers. The signal to noise and distortion ratio remains as high as the V3, at 89 decibels, with an impressive signal to noise ratio of 106 decibels and distortion less than 0.006%. The frequency response curve is also exceptionally perfect. In summary, the performance parameters of the ZA3 can undoubtedly meet the demands of audiophiles. We believe it will become another classic audiophile grade amplifier. Now, let us proceed to the demonstration of the ZA3 in use. First, let's demonstrate a desktop stereo setup. Here, we use an iPhone as the audio source, connected to the DS2 DAC dongle. To begin, connect the DS2 to the iPhone, then link it to the ZA3's RCA in port using a 3.5mm to RCA cable. Next, connect the ZA3 to passive speakers using speaker cables. Be mindful to correctly match the left and right channels, as well as the positive and negative poles. The ZA3's binding posts support both banana plugs and bare wire connections. If you're using bare wire, simply unscrew the nuts on the binding posts to access the wire holes. Finally, press and hold the power knob on the ZA3 for 2 seconds to turn it on. Play music on the iPhone, and gradually adjust the volume to a comfortable level to start enjoying your music. A quick note on the characteristics of the taper A potentiometer. With the taper A pot, the output voltage increases logarithmically. Hence, when adjusting the volume below 60%, you might perceive a smaller change in volume. However, beyond 60%, the volume increase becomes more pronounced. Therefore, if you require a louder volume, simply adjust the knob above 80%. Next. 
Let me demonstrate how to set up a 2.1 channel system using two ZA3 units in mono mode, along with an active subwoofer. We'll be using balanced inputs for this setup. First, connect the XLR cables to the right channel XLR input ports of the two ZA3 units. and link the speaker wires to the right channel binding posts. Then, connect the active subwoofer to the sub-out port of the ZA3 using an RCA cable. Lastly, switch the input to XLR mode and the output to mono. Press and hold the power knob to turn on the system. To maintain balance between the left and right channels, you can set the volume to the maximum and control the output volume from the source device or preamp. With this, the 2.1 system setup using two ZA3 units is complete. Let's test it out. The ZA3 is also highly suitable for bi-amping setups, a favored approach among audiophiles. By using two ZA3 units, you can separately drive the high-frequency and low-frequency units of the same speaker. This reduces crossover distortion, makes more efficient use of power, and enhances overall sound clarity and dynamic range, resulting in high-quality audio. If your speakers support dual input terminals, I encourage you to experience the exceptional sound quality that a bi-amping setup can offer. The replaceable op amps in the ZA3 are one of the features audiophiles love. Using different op amps can result in various sound signatures, adding to the ZA3's versatility. If you have preferred op amps, you can follow these steps to replace them. Before starting, Please prepare the necessary tools. For this demonstration, we'll use a hex screwdriver, pair of tweezers, and a, a pair of needle nose pliers. First, remove the knobs from the front panel. Use the pliers to unscrew the nuts and washers from the potentiometers. Then, use the hex screwdriver to remove the four screws on both sides and the bottom of the rear panel. After that, slide out the main board. you'll see five replaceable op amps on the ZA3's main board. Near the front panel, the two chips process the left and right channel outputs. Let's demonstrate how to replace them. Use the tweezers to gently pry them out from the side pin gaps. Then, place your own op amps into the slots. Pay special attention to the orientation of each chip. Align the notch or the number 1 on the chip's cover with the 01 mark on the PCB. Otherwise, you might damage the op amps. Refer to this diagram for guidance. Here, we're replacing them with Sparco's SS3602 dual discrete op amps. Once the new op amps are securely installed, Connect the power and speaker wires to test if the sound is normal. If everything is fine, reassemble the casing. With that, the full process of replacing the op amps is complete, and it's quite simple. The ZA3 supports numerous renowned DIP-8 dual discrete op amps. To learn about the characteristics of different op amps and their unique sound qualities in actual use, you can watch our previous demonstration video featuring op amps like NE5532, MUSES02, OPA2604, JRC4580D, and Sparco's SS3602. After listening, you're sure to find your favorite combination.
Lastly, we've also compiled a list of op amps known to be compatible with the ZA3 for your reference. That's all for today's introduction to the ZA3 Balanced Dual Mode Amplifier. If you are interested in the product, or wish to learn more about its features and usage, feel free to leave a comment or send us a private message. We are here to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching, and please continue to support and follow us. We are committed to listening to your voices, transforming your feedback and needs into amazing products. Believe that in the future, Fossey Audio will bring more high-quality hi-fi gear to you. Thank you, everyone, and see you next time.